In this video, I want to show you how you can easily create a set of buttons to toggle between visuals in Power BI using the bookmark navigator. I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it so you can follow along as well. All of that and more. So without further ado, let's get started. Hi, my name is Fanan and welcome to the Solutions Abroad YouTube channel where we cover tips, tricks and best practices when working with Power BI. I upload new videos every week, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to get notified when a new one is out. So the bookmark navigator, which was introduced a couple of months back, doesn't introduce something new per se. It just makes your development life a lot faster and easier if you know how to use it. So I want to show you an example of when you would use this bookmark navigator. So here I have three charts in one page in this Power BI report. So what I want is to just show one of these charts at a time. And I want the users to have the ability to toggle between these three charts using a set of buttons. Now, if you know about how Power BI is built and how we have built this, and let me just show you. So we have just two tables here, the orders table, which has some list of orders uh, of different products over time. And we have a calendar table for our time intelligence calculations. And they simply have a one-to-many relationship. So we can use the calendar table as a filter uh, table for our orders table. And with the data model that we've created here, you can't simply just drag in and create a filter to uh, toggle between the different periods like year, month, or quarter. So this is where the bookmarks can come in handy. So how would I do this in the previous method? So let's start by just putting them all into, let's say just one on top of each other right here gonna go to view we're gonna open up two panels here the bookmarks and selection so we're going to create a couple of bookmarks to hide and show certain charts which is what we'll use to toggle between the three so we'll toggle just to show the year first we're gonna create a bookmark for year then we will show quarter Then we will show month. So now that we have those bookmarks, how we would normally do it before is you would set a button. So we'll insert a button here. And we'll just do a blank button. And we'll say, uh, if the user clicks this, I want to toggle year. So I want to show the year chart instead. So we have this button, we're gonna set an action to say, open the bookmark um, and open the year bookmark. So if I click it, you'll see that it changes the charts or it selects the year bookmark. So it will just show the year charts. And from here, you'd simply just copy and paste, create new buttons on top here for the quarter and for the month so that you have a way to toggle between the three different uh, time periods. So once you've created all those buttons, the problem comes uh, when you have to manage them. So let's say you want to modify one of the buttons or maybe you want to add one more chart into this uh, system that you have here. It means that you need to modify their behaviors one by one and it can be a bit cumbersome, especially if you have a lot of buttons. So this is the problem that the new bookmark navigator solves. So a lot of these cumbersome activities can be handled for you automatically. And all you have to do is to customize it to your needs. So let's delete this button that we've created here. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the buttons. We're going to hover over to navigator here and select bookmark navigator. So you'll see that it generates a group of buttons automatically that we can use for our purposes. By the way, before we move on, you notice that there is also a page navigator here, which does exactly the same thing, but except on pages. And I did cover it in a previous video in the past. So go check that out if you haven't yet. So anyway, back to the buttons. So you'll notice that first of all, the buttons will start working automatically. Just don't forget that you need to click, uh, hold control click to simulate the button clicks in your report in Power BI Desktop. And you'll notice that it also will have pre-built animations 
into it. So it means that uh, you know interactions like hovering over or clicking or selecting, deselecting will automatically be applied for you, which won't happen normally if you just used or created a button from uh, the uh, blank button from the buttons pane here. The next thing is that because this navigator is one visual, any changes you make will be applied across all the buttons that you have in this navigator, making it really easy to manage bulk buttons. And there you go. So you have a set of buttons that you can use with your charts. So pretty easy, right? So now that you know how easy it is to use it, I want to show you a nice touch here. So let's say at the moment we haven't uh, selected anything in our bookmark navigator here, and we want to encourage users to make a selection uh, because at the moment it's showing year month, but obviously uh, if there's nothing selected, we want to show something else. So if there's nothing selected, we want to show a message saying that you need to select something from the set of buttons that we have here. So this is the message that I want to show. So I want to show if there is no period selected, pick a time period um, in to see a chart, so which encourages users to use the buttons that we've created. So what we can do, we can move that into our page one here. And we can simply create a separate bookmark that essentially shows this message if nothing is selected from our bookmarks. So let's do that. Um, so first let's uh, hide everything else. And let's click add here. We'll rename this one none selected. And then we're going to, I think, need to update all of the other bookmarks that we have. So we're going to hide this when a year is showing, click updates, go quarter, hide, updates, then go month, hide, updates. So now we're gonna just test it out. So you can select and it will show. And if nothing is selected, we show this uh, deselected value here. So now that we have the non-selected uh, message into our charts, now we don't want, and actually we don't want to show this uh, into our navigator here. Uh, so if we select the navigator and we go on the format navigator here under bookmarks, you'll have the option to allow the selection. So let's enable that. And it asks you to launch something on the selection. So in this case, we want to assign a bookmark that we want to use if nothing is selected from our navigator. So we'll use none selected. And there you go, you see it hides the button from our navigator. And it's because of this toggle, it says hide the selection bookmark from the navigator. So uh, if you toggle that off, it will show it back up, but we'll hide it for now. So now when you have nothing selected, you will see that you will get this message instead. However, if you do have something selected, it will simply disappear. And that's really it for this video. I hope you now know how easy it is to start using bookmark navigators to toggle between bookmarks in your Power BI reports. Thanks for watching. As usual, give this video a like if you found it useful. Give it a dislike if you didn't, so not to do better for next time. Ask your questions in the comment section box below so I can help you and you can help others. If you really like this video, we have a Patreon page where you can support the channel and get exclusive perks like early access, demo files, and credits at the end of these videos. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.